Hi everybody, I'm Jennifer and today I'm going to be talking about anti-aging in healthcare from outside our body. And I'm going to be doing a fun little magic show for you to show you the effects of some popular products. Now, if you've already seen my other video about anti-aging protection from the inside of our body, then you know, simply put, that our skin and bodies age because free radical molecules are attacking our healthy cells and steal an ion or oxidize the cell. Now, when there's enough damage from these free radicals, the cell shuts down, and the result is we age. Free radicals are produced from inside our body, and the sun, pollution, smoke, basically our environment, promotes the production of free radicals from the outside. Antioxidants neutralize these free radicals and slow down the aging process. So the first line of defense against our skin aging is a product or products with these antioxidant properties to fight these free radicals and to slow down the aging process. So I have filled these cups with tap water and I'm going to put some chlorine indicator drops to show how much chlorine is in the water. The darker the yellow, the more chlorine. And everybody knows that chlorine is a toxic chemical that some believe to be a dangerous carcinogen. So let's consider these cups to be our skin and the yellow water to be the contaminants, the free radicals that our skin is fighting. Now this is a popular face wash. It has vitamin C, which is an antioxidant, and it's supposed to detoxify the skin. So let's put some face wash into the water and let's see what happens. you should put a little bit more face wash. Hmm. And we get a yellowish orange kind of paste. Now let's try my favorite face wash. This is an anti-aging face wash with active vitamin C. I'm just going to put a tiny speck. Wow, amazing. This face wash has such a high amount of active vitamin C that it instantly cleaned out the chlorine. So this is the face wash that you want to use. It's going to clean out the chemicals out of your skin and continue to protect your skin from UV sun damage. So now let's look at the soap that we use when we bathe or shower. Do you really know whether the soap you use is good for your skin? Well, let's find out by doing a pH test on some popular soap bars. I'm going to be using a pH indicator pencil right here. And this is the pH scale. The neutral pH is the orange-yellow zone. The more red, the more acidic the more purple and blue, the more alkaline. For our skin, we want cleansers to be in the neutral pH zone, in the orange-yellow zone, because cleansers in this zone will leave the natural acid protection and oils on our skin to keep our skin moist and protect from dryness. So if you have really sensitive skin or have skin allergies, you definitely want to use pH neutral soaps in the orange-yellow zone but many soaps are often high in alkaline. And soaps that are high in alkaline will strip away the natural acid protection. Now skin that is susceptible to acne, allergies, eczema, skin irritations are often have, often have an alkaline pH. So using soap that is high in alkaline on this skin will further the irritation and make the skin more susceptible to infection. So I am going to mark my arm with the pH indicator pencil and test these popular soap bars. And remember, we w these, ideally, these soap bars should be in the neutral pH in the orange-yellow zone. This is Neutrogena Facial Bar. Dermatology recommended. Dermatologists recommended. Alkaline. Now let's use a gentle glycerin soap from Bath and Body Works, and let's see what happens. Alkaline. And here is Johnson's Baby Bar. 
new and improved for your baby's gentle skin. Alkaline. This is not what I would want to use on my baby. Now let's use the body bar that me and my family use. Neutral pH. Now this body bar is actually soap free and it has aloe vera and it's going to gently soothe and condition the skin and prevent the skin from dryness. And it comes in liquid form as well. So which body bar would you want you and your family to use? So please be careful when you select products for your family. Just because it says dermatology is recommended or anti-aging doesn't mean it's necessarily good for your skin. So now we've learned how we can use products to fight aging from the outside. And if you haven't already, please watch my other video that talks about anti-aging protection from the inside of our body. Thanks for watching.